Hi, this is Glenn from GISUser.com. Sorry about that. I'm going to share with you a, uh, a free data resource that um, one of our readers just informed me about. It's called Natural Earth. You can find it at NaturalEarthData.com. Now, the key selling point of this resource is um, it is a free data resource. Um, here we're looking at the front, at the home page. And you can see right here at the top, describes what the site's all about. It is a public domain map data set. It's available at multiple scales. These are 1 to 10 million, 1 to 50 million, or 1 to 110 million. So it's pretty small scale data, but ideal for someone who needs coverage of a, uh, of a continent or global coverage. Sites organized um, really well, pretty Web 2.0-ish the top here, we have a really cool uh, map gallery area. Click the map gallery tab and you see we have a drop down of all the, all the different types of data that you can find here. Let's click on one of them. Looks like physical data. Yeah, and so it's showing us the uh, natural earth with shaded relief coverage. Click the map gallery again. Shows us what the coastal uh, coastline data looks like. And there's a number of these. Pretty impressive, and I know everyone loves free data. Looking around the site a little bit more, um, we've got a lot of descriptions here. It tells you what the data is all about. At the very bottom, you see all the uh, supporters. This is a uh, nonprofit, nonprofit effort, of course. So we dive a little deeper on the top navigation tabs. Got a little more information about the data. Tells you, um, you know, the different types of features that are there. You know, types of data, what you can get. There's various raster data products. Um, describes a little bit about the vector data types. Um, scale of coverage that you can get. The layers of information. Pretty rich resource, really. At the meat of the site here, of course, is the Downloads tab. Everyone likes free data. Here you can just go get it. It's sorted by large, medium, or small scale data. Large scale being 1 to 10 million, so I don't know if you really consider that large scale, but for the sake of this, we will. And then it's sorted by cultural, physical, or raster data. Um, we'll click on the physical tab here and go take a look. You can see here now we can grab the download the coastline data. That's a 50 megabyte download. And we have a mouse over tip. It tells us that the data is available as shape files um, or TIFF format. There's an about tab or an about tab if you're from Canada, and it tells you a little, you know, a little bit of metadata. It's always nice. Let's go back. Lots of information here. Click the downloads again. Uh, I'm going to click the raster tab because I actually haven't been in there yet. Um, so we have a product here, Natural Earth One. It's a satellite-derived land cover data and shaded relief. Once again, if you're looking to make a really slick uh, shaded relief data product to include with your uh, with your maps, this is a great resource. The site also has a blog. Click the blog tab. This was just updated on December 2nd. So, pretty new. We have a couple of links here. Not a lot in the blog yet. There's some community um, resources here. They've provided a discussion form. There's already a lot of topics here to kick things off. Looks like a good place to get more information. Corrections. That's always interesting because I know there's a ton of free data resources around. And you don't really hear about data corrections or data updates. I know a couple of uh, real popular data resources that are basically serving up old data. People are grabbing it. People are even buying the data, and they're buying old, out-of-date data. So you got to watch what you get. So there you have it. That's Natural Earth. Once again, it's naturalearthdata.com. Um, I hope you like this video. I'm just testing my uh, little Mino Flip and my uh, handy little Gorilla tripod. If you want to see more of these kinds of videos, let me know. Shoot me a web link or a tip, and I'll be glad to do uh, a video and share it with our readers. So long.